السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته friends welcome back to my channel in this session we are discussing 74 HCT 245 LS 245 S245 74 245 F245 these all are similar numbers just only the the driving current and access time difference these are transceivers octal three state non inverting bus transceiver what is bus transceiver when we say microcontroller microprocessor microcomputer the processor itself has very limited current it cannot drive many items at the same time because every component will need sync current so processor is unable to deliver too much current for that purpose bus drivers line drivers transceivers receivers these components are used these transfer data from one end to the second end it can be called transmitter driver buffer if some component is bringing data to microcontroller from any address location from any component from memory device from any data source so that will be called receiver if any component has dual function it can transmit data it or it can receive data so it will be called transceiver transmitter plus receiver 20 pin TTL IC, Logic IC, VCC, pin 10 ground, pin 1 is direction input, pin number 19 output enable, 10 ground, 20 VCC, these are supply pins, 1 and 19 direction and output enable these are control inputs to select the function so it is bi-directional this is a side this is b side pin number 2 is a1 a2 a3 a4 a5 a6 a7 a8 eight lines from a side pin number 18 b1 b2 B3, B4, B5, B6, B7, B8. These are B side 8 bits. When it is selected to write data from A to B, A1 will send data to B1. So data will flow from the opposite bit A1 to B1, A2 to B2, A3 to B3, like that. And if it is selected to send data from port B to port A at that time, any data present at B1, either it is 0 volt or 5 volt, that will be transferred to A1. Data at B2 will come at A2. This side will be connected to processor and this side to some device, maybe any memory, any component. Or maybe this side is connected to processor and this side is connected to some data source. This is truth table or function table. Output enable low. When this pin output enable is low because here is inverter, it must be active low. And direction is low. This pin is low. Data transmitted from bus B to bus A. Pin 1, pin 19 low, data will be transmitted from B to A, from this side to this side, 18 to 1, 17 to 3, in this condition. And if output enable pin is low, pin 1 direction is high, 5 volt applied here, at that time 
it will transmit data from bus A to bus B, from A side to B side. If output enable is high, this line is high, bus is isolated, it will go in high impedance state. It will behave as an open circuit. No data from A to B or B to A. So it will become as an open circuit, high impedance. Pin 20 is VCC and pin number 10 is ground. Then output enable. Output enable must be low. That is pin number 19. We will connect it to low. At that time this chip is enabled. Now we want to send data from B to A, from this side to this side, data present at B side, at high side pins from pin number 18 to 11. We want to read at low side pins 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. For that purpose we will use 8 LEDs because here are 8 inputs. 8 LEDs, 330 ohm resistance connected at anode and we will connect ground side of the and we will connect cathodes to the ground side. When we want to read data, a output enable is connected to low, pin number 19. Connect low side at direction pin. Direction pin is pin number 1. It must be connected to low. When we are testing, we must take care for the polarity. Now we will apply input at this side and we will read data at this side. We will connect B to low or high. That data will pass to A1. A1 is at pin number 2. 2, 3, 4, 5. Now if I will connect B1 at pin number 18, this is pin number 18, if I will connect to positive, this is now high. Other LEDs are now floating. Okay, this is low. Seventeen. Low. Sixteen. Low. Fifteen. Low. 14, 13, 12. Now I connected all these lines to ground. Data, li data level low. Output is low. Any bit, if I will turn it on high, that output will high. For example, if you will turn on this bit to high, first and this line to high, the same data is transferred here. If I will turn on this bit to high, it is now high. What is the data position? Either it is 0 volt or 5 volt. Now these are coming here. If you connect output enable to high, Now this IC is in disabled state. No data from A to B or B to A. Output enable pin must be 
लो नाउ डाटा डायरेक्शन विल बी सिलेक्टेड फ्रॉम डायरेक्शन पिन नाउ वी विल चेंज द डाटा डायरेक्शन I will remove the outputs and I will remove all inputs. Direction pin to high. Pin number one to high. That time data A to B, A side is from pin number two to nine to B side. Before this, this was input and this was output. But now this is input and this is output side. So it is called transceiver. At the same pins, it is sending data and it is receiving data. Just by changing the enable and direction pins. It is also called read write function. Most of the time, this IC is used to access data from the memories, and also it is used to read or write data from different digital items, digital components. Now, direction is now high. Same way, we can set data pin A8 to low. This pin will become low. A7 low. A6 low. When we are using digital electronics, open input is not allowed. At that time, that input goes in floating state. Now, I connected all inputs to low. And now, if we will turn any input to high, this is high. This is high. High. Most of the time, 74 LS 138 is used to enable pin number 19. When it is enabled, it will work normally. Anytime it is high, anytime pin number 19 that is output enable is high, this IC will work as an open circuit. If you see this board, this I.O. board, it is using 2, 4, 6, 138, that is address decoder, that will select a pair of IC at one time to send data or to receive data, to access memory or to write data on the memory. When two are selected, the other will remain in active state as an open circuit or high impedance state. It is tri state. Either sending data, receiving data, or high impedance. Its output is non inverting output. For example, input is high, the output is high. If the transceiver type is inverting at that time, if we provide high data here, here will low data. But now if you see this one, this line is positive, 5 volt, output is 
high. So it is non-inverting type. If you connect to low, output is low. If you enjoyed this video, hit the like button. If you have any question, please write in the comments. Thanks for watching. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.